craft beer, in my opinion, is innovation, it's artistry, it's passion, and it's just the expression of brewers. You know, it starts with ideas and, and you set uh, goals and objectives for that beer. And then from there, you basically buy the ingredients, you formulate a recipe. We use a computer program to help us to get the right alcohol, to get all the different parameters, the color, the gravity. Once you formulate that, we do a full brew on the system. You know, we do our mash, uh, extracting the sugars, we begin to boil the wort, and then uh, we basically transfer everything into the tank, and two weeks later we have this, uh, hopefully, this wonderful beer. Our big focus is uh, to be the neighborhood brewery. We're trying to make good beer. <laughs> We're at Montrose and Cicero. There's an uh, industrial corridor here that allows us to do uh, production and manufacturing of beer. We are adjacent to four different neighborhoods up here. Mayfair, Old Irving Park, uh, Jefferson Park, Porridge Park. Yeah, the numbers speak for themselves. Craft beer in Illinois, uh, in the country, is up from 9%. Next year it's going to be 11, 12%. So we're creeping up higher and higher in terms of selling and mass producing craft beer in the local breweries. I was at the movie theater yesterday that had craft beer. Uh, so it's just a, it's a growing phenomenon. It goes back to pre-prohibition when every neighborhood in Chicago had its own brewery. And you know we are basically going back to that period now that the industry and the laws have changed to allow us to do that. That's really kind of our focus how we see it. We're not trying to take over the world, we're not trying to take over Chicago, but we want to bring um, fresh, well-crafted beer directly to the neighborhood. The community has been fantastic. A number of taverns and bars up in this area are carrying our beer, which is great. You know, they're making an impact on the community by understanding the community, honoring it, and, uh, and I think it's just very exciting. You can go in on Saturdays, you can visit them, email them, and, and they're going to be re responsive. As much as people ask them where to purchase their beers, they, you know, they help promote businesses like us to come over here and buy their stuff. It's something that the neighborhood can even be proud of, you know, just like, hey, you know, this is our neighborhood beer. No one, we believe, can sell our beer better than us. We can connect with tavern and bar owners. They came in and they, were, they said, you know, we got some beer that uh, we're, we're brewing right now and we should be ready uh, in about a month or so. And um, would you be interested in carrying it? And uh, for, of course, being six blocks away, I said, of course, I'd be happy to carry your beer. He was telling me, yeah, I'm opening up my brewery. And I was like, cool, man, let me know when you get bottles. You know, obviously we like to support Chicago and uh, he's a Chicago brewer and a good guy on top of that. I know a lot of new places that have been picking them up. And uh, the word spreading about their beer. They're really passionate about what they do, and that's a good thing. The best moment is when we're nearing the end of fermentation and we taste the beer and it tastes great. And we're just so giddy about it because we have this wonderful liquid that makes us happy. We know it's going to make other people happy as well. My favorite is their wit beer, the Lake Effect Still. I'm actually drinking it right now. Uh, Snow Wit, I'd say. Every time people say order of blue moon, you know, we, we turn them out. Well, have you tried, you know, like the back snow? Cruising for a bruising, I mean, I, that's just an awesome beer. You know, I love the hop profile on it and everything. As far as the consumer, I, everybody, they go for the Bitchin' Blonde for the label, which is always awesome. Uh, Bitchin' Blonde is good. I love Bitchin' Blonde. Everybody has a favorite kind, you know. I have uh, some of the German guys really like that Cooler C. Cool Lake in German, I'm a very German person. I like that as well. All I can tell you is I sell a heck of a lot of Cooler C. I think the great thing about their particular beers are it's this kind of constant innovation. For me, I'm always looking for my next favorite uh, Lake Effect beer. In five years, we definitely want to be a permanent northwest side fixture. The future's bright. I see them going good places. I see them being all over the city and even beyond the city. I hope they do great things, you know. Possibly a little further down the line, uh, maybe a tap room. A great product with a good business sense behind it, a good marketing plan. And I think, you know, this is just the beginning for them. I'm really excited about what their future holds. I'm Dave Carlson, General Manager of Hops and Barley. Here's the lake effect. I want to hear old Jimmy skin the blues again. Don't want to hear that latest Nashville train. Give me that Martin guitar and Jackson mandolin. I want to hear old Jimmy skin the blues again. I met 
Jimmy back in 61 or 2 My New York days of music were all through So I headed down to Nashville 